good afternoon. It is a overcast day here in Williamsburg. About to go to a barber shop to get something done about this. I was here about a month ago, Nassau Barber Shop. Ella, I'm really hoping she's there today. Ella, hello. Thanks, Ella. <laughs> so, if you need a haircut in Nassau, Williamsburg, come see Ella. Thank you. All right, so I feel like a new man. Got quite the trim. They do the whole routine there. The uh, straight razor for the back of the neck, back massager, the whole deal. Trimmed up my beard, maybe a little too trim, but uh, excellent people. If you need a haircut, you're in Williamsburg, go see them. Nassau on Nassau Street. I don't know about you, but I'm pretty particular about who cuts my hair. Like, they gotta have a certain kind of touch. Uh, obviously, they have to cut it right. Nassau Barbershop is the way to go. Feels like fall here. I'm not sure if these leaves are from last year or this year, but there are some falling already here in Williams. It is a rainy day here in New York City which I'll take over earthquakes and hurricanes anytime. All right, so haircut now fixed with the gel. Much better than it was yesterday morning. Okay, um, one of the things here in New York that's so different than in Memphis is the amount of delivery services and specifically for groceries. And we've been an Amazon Prime member for a long time. And when I got up here, I found out you can get on Amazon Prime now on their app and they will deliver in two hours. One hour if you're willing to pay an $8 fee. So we've ordered that before. Um, I'm going to track it this time and see if we actually get it in two hours. This is my new iPhone 5S. The one I had was acting up and um, went over to the Apple store at the Oculus by the World Trade Center and they replaced it with this 5S. Still having the same problems. Uh, apparently I'm using up more processing power than this particular iPhone model will handle. I think what happens is over time the apps get better, the phone stays the same, the apps drain more energy and that works out good for Apple. But the iPhone X looks particularly interesting. Okay, so here's Amazon Prime now. And I've got an order here. And you can see what's in the cart. There's quite a few options, like I was saying. They'll deliver produce. There's some tomatoes, ice cream. They've got a special way of... Um, delivering the frozen items. I'll show you that when it delivers. Cereal, bananas, some candy and avocados, some salad. Check out. And here's the option. You can have it within one hour for eight dollars or I can have it delivered tonight between six and eight or eight and ten. So six to eight, uh, if it gets here at six, it's currently 517, that'd be less than an hour. If it gets here at 8, that's a little more than 2 hours. So we'll time it and see what happens. Okay, uh, you know, this is a delivery service, so they're going to give you the option to leave a tip. And I usually just leave the, um, you know, the, the recommended tip. We'll keep that in place. And just like that, the order's placed. We'll turn on notifications and allow. And it's even showing, you know, where the warehouse is and where I'm at. And as the driver gets closer, it'll map the GPS and we'll see how long, you know, we'll be able to tell where he's coming from. Another good thing about the uh, Amazon Prime Now app, they keep you constantly updated on where the driver is. So it's only been an hour since I ordered the food and he's still in route. So. I'm guessing they will meet the two-hour window. 
The real reason we found out about this app is because we were trying to figure out a way to get a whole case of water back to the apartment. And even if it's just a couple of blocks from the grocery store, you don't want to carry that. Stand by. There's also, you know, uh, storage cards, cables, USB chargers. All this you can get in two hours for free. Delivery. You know, obviously you're paying for the product. Hey, how's it going? Good, good, good. Good. You got the Amazon order? Yes. All right. Let's see. It is 7.36, so it was a little over two hours, but it was within the window that they gave me after I placed the order and delivery time. I guess total from the time they accepted the order until the time I received it was probably two hours and 30 minutes. So they got this um, freezer bag, keep cold stuff cold, the almond milk, the salad. These are pretty important to me. And the ice cream still feels pretty frozen. They use these packs. There's a couple of them down in there. So that's it. Amazon Prime now. I'd highly recommend it. I haven't had anything but good results so far with it and this is about the fourth or fifth order. So. If you're in one of the cities that has it, definitely check it out. We've been doing training at my real job the last two days on SAP. So if you're familiar with that, you kind of know what I've been experiencing. Uh, it was supposed to be two days of 11 o'clock in the morning to about 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Luckily it didn't quite run on that long, but it was our first introduction to SAP. We actually thought it was just going to be an app for the sales reps, and it turns out it's a whole business thing. If you're familiar with SAP, you know what we're going through. I was glad when it was over. Um, I am doing some exercise. I did about six planks today, actually five planks today for 20 seconds each, which is a lot for me. Um, that really, you can feel that just in every muscle when you do that. If you haven't tried those before, I'd recommend them. Um, I need to do a lot more of them. So that and some walking, um, you know, I'm going to try and eat a little healthier, but before I eat healthier, uh, one last thing to say about the Amazon Prime Nail Order. If there's any complaint, which is, you know, it's not really a complaint, it's not going to affect the food, this box is a little damaged. Um, I don't think it's going to affect the Rice Krispies in there at all. Anyway, the reason why I've got these is because we're going to make Rice Krispie treats later this week, may even be on into the weekend. One thing they did not have on Amazon Prime Now were marshmallows. Not just any marshmallows, but these kind. These are dandy, all vegan, and these are obviously for my daughter who's vegan. She made some of these, I guess it was Let's say a couple of weeks ago, we got they have them at Whole Foods and you can get them on Amazon. So I'm gonna try and order them on Amazon tonight. They should be here in a couple of days and then this weekend we'll make them. Why is it such a big deal? They actually taste better than the regular Rice Krispies. There's some kind of vanilla flavoring in these marshmallows, but they are actually better than regular Rice Krispies. So we'll probably film some of that and uh, share that video with you as well later on this week. But uh, stay tuned for vegan Rice Krispie treats.